hope you are all okay and you had a good weekend. Today I'm going to read another Millie Molly Mandy story because they're such great stories and they're really worth hearing again even if you know some of them. So Mrs Hall has lent me this book and it's Millie Molly Mandy, four books in one, The Adventures of Millie Molly Mandy. Now the book I'm going to read today, the story I'm going to read today, is Millie Molly Mandy Has a Surprise. And um, in it, you're going to hear about some jam. Do you like jam? I like jam. I like, um, I like strawberry jam. I like raspberry jam. Um, I like black currant jam. Black currant jam is my mum's favourite. I like um, gooseberry jam. I like um, rhubarb jam and I think my absolute favourite is is apricot jam and apricot jam is what I had on my toast at the weekend. Apricot jam. So this story is called Millie Molly Mandy has a surprise. Once upon a time Millie Molly Mandy was helping mother to fetch some pots of jam down from the little storeroom. Father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie and Millie Molly Mandy, between them, ate quite a lot of jam. So mother, who mostly made all the jam, had to keep the pots upstairs because the kitchen cupboard was just too full and wouldn't hold them all. The little storeroom was up under the thatched roof at the top of the house and it had a little square window very near to the floor and the ceiling sloped away on each side so that father or mother or grandpa or grandma or uncle or auntie could stand upright only in the very middle of the room. But Millie Molly Mandy, because she was quite a lot smaller, could stand upright anywhere inside it. When Mother and Millie Molly Mandy had found the jams that they'd wanted, strawberry jam and blackberry jam and ginger jam, Mother looked round the little storeroom and said, Oh, it's a pity I haven't got somewhere else to keep my jam pots. And Millie Molly Mandy said, Why, Mother, I think... This is a very, very nice place for the jam pots to live in. And Mother said, do you? But a few days later, Father and Mother went up to the little storeroom and took out all the jam pots and all the shelves that held the jam pots and Father stood them down in the new shed he was making outside the back door. While Mother started to clean the little storeroom at the top of the house. Millie Molly Mandy helped by washing the little square window so that my jam pots can see out, she said. Here is a picture of Millie Molly Mandy cleaning the windows so that the jam pots can see out. And I just love that idea. She was cleaning so that the jam pots could look out of the window. How lovely! The next day, Millie Molly Mandy came across Father in the barn, mixing colour wash in a bucket. It was ever such a pretty colour, just like a pale new primrose. And Millie Molly Mandy dabbed it in, dabbed in it with a bit of stick for a while, and then she asked what it was for. And Father said, I'm going to do over the walls and ceiling of the little storeroom. And then he added, don't you think it will make the jam pots feel very nice and cheerful? And Millie Molly Mandy said, yes, I think it will, Father. And she said, I am sure that the jam pots will just love it. A little while afterwards, Mother sent Millie Molly Mandy to the village to buy a packet of green dye at Mr Smale the grocer's shop. And then Mother dyed some old casement curtains a bright green 
for the storeroom window because, said Mother, the windows look so bare from the outside. And while she was about it, she said hmm, she might as well dye the coverlet on Millie Molly Mundy's little cot bed. The little cot bed stood in one corner of father and mother's room. As the pattern had washed nearly white, so Millie Molly Mandy had a nice new bed, bed nice new bedspread instead of a faded old one. The next Saturday, when Grandpa came home for market, he brought with him, in the back of the pony truck, a little chest of drawers, which he had picked up quite cheap. He thought it might come in useful for keeping things in, in the little storeroom. And Mother said, yes, yes, it would come. Very useful indeed. So, as it was rather shabby, Uncle, who had been painting the door of the new shed with apple green paint, painted the little chest of drawers green too. So that it really was quite a pretty little chest of drawers indeed. Well, said Uncle, that ought to make any jar of jam taste really sweet. Many Molly Mandy began to think that this storeroom was becoming all together almost too good for the jars of jam. Then Auntie decided she and Uncle wanted a new mirror in their room. And she asked Mother if their old one couldn't be stored up in the sto up in the storeroom. And when Mother said it could, Uncle said, well, he had some spare paint left over, so he might as well paint round the mirror, and then he could throw the tin away. So he painted the frame of the mirror green, and it looked altogether a very pretty little mirror. Jampots don't want to look at themselves, said Millie Molly Mandy. Jampots don't want to look at themselves, said Millie Molly Mandy again. And she thought that mirror looked altogether too nice for the jars of jam in the storeroom. Oh well, said Mother, it helps make the room look lighter in there. Then Millie Molly Mandy came across Grandma. And Grandma was embroidering a pretty little wool bird on either end of a strip of coarse linen. It was a robin with a brown back and a scarlet front. Millie Molly Mandy thought that with that embroidery it really was a pretty cloth. And you know, she really wanted it. But Grandma said, well, sorry Millie Molly Mandy, I thought it would look really nice on the chest of drawers in the little storeroom. And then she added, it might amuse the jam pots. The jam pots might like it. And Millie Molly Mandy laughed <sighs> and begged Grandma to tell her what the pretty cloth really was for. But Grandma only chuckled and said, it is to amuse the jam pots, like I've already told you, Millie Molly Mandy. The next day, when Millie Molly Mandy came home from school, Mother said, Millie Molly Mandy, we've got the little storeroom all in order now. Now, would you please run up the stairs up to the storeroom and go and fetch a nice pot of jam? Millie Molly Mandy said, yes, mother. What flavour do you want? What sort would you like? And father said, um, blackberry. And grandpa said, no, 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 no marrow ginger and grandma said no it's got to be red currant and uncle said i think strawberry's nice auntie said my preferred is raspberry but mother said oh any kind you like millie molly mandy just fetch yourself up those stairs and go get some jam millie molly mandy thought Something funny 
must be happening. Father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie all looked as if they were trying to hide a chuckle inside them. But she did as she was told and she ran up to the storeroom and when she opened the door she saw her own little cot bed with the green coverlet on just inside and the little square window with the green curtains blowing in the wind yellow pot of nasturtiums on the sill and the little green chest of drawers with the robin cloth on it and the little green mirror hanging on the primrose wall with Millie Molly Mandy's own face reflected in it and then Millie Molly Mandy knew and she understood what was happening the storeroom wasn't a storeroom for the jam anymore it was her very own real bedroom. How lovely is that? Nasturtiums on the window. On the chest of drawers is the embroidery that Grandma did. There's her bed. And it all looks rather beautiful. And all at once she said, Oh! This is beautiful, and it's all mine. And she looked all around the room, and then she tore downstairs back into the kitchen, and she just hugged mother and father and grandma and grandpa and uncle and auntie. And they all said, you know what, Millie Molly Mandy? There's raspberry jam, and strawberry jam, and ginger jam, and blackcurrant jam, and apricot jam. But you, Millie Molly Mandy, are our favourite pot of jam. And they all chuckled. And Millie Molly Mandy couldn't wait for bedtime, but she was so eager to sleep in a little room. That was all her very own. And that's the story of Millie Molly Mandy has a surprise. And it was a surprise because she thought that, they, that they, everybody was making a storeroom for the jam. And I love that bit at the beginning where Millie Mon Molly Mandy really set the ideas in motion because she said she was going to clean the windows. Clean the windows. So the jam could look out. And that made me think that all of us are spending more time at home, aren't we? And um, there are things that we can do to help out at home that might start with just picking up a duster and maybe a little bit of water or maybe a spray if your parents let you and having a good old clear around and perhaps trying some dusting at home. It's a very important life skill and everybody can do it, whether you're five or, or 65 or 75 or 85 or any of the fives in between. Everybody can do just a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of dusting so that we can make our homes as lovely as possible because we're spending a bit more time in them, aren't we? Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the story and um, we'll have another story later on this week and maybe on Friday I'll introduce you to somebody that you've not met yet and I hope you'll like. So that's for later on this week. But in the meantime, if you do do some dusting or cleaning or maybe sorting out your bedrooms, then... Uh, Upload some photographs onto Seesaw and uh, I'll, I'll enjoy looking at them, I'm sure. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.